Hey there guys, Dex here, and welcome back to another episode of Aspen Diary. Sorry I haven't been uploading as much lately, I just had quite the bit of a finals week <laughs> at my school, or like, midterms anyway, because um, I'm currently on fall break, so glad I don't have to deal with that anymore right now, but um, anyways, today is Columbus Day, or more importantly, really, Indigenous Peoples Day, but, um, oh gosh, not here. Um, today we're, um, today is kind of important because it's a bit of a because there's a specific thing we can get now, a little prize we can get today. And I'm about to show you what that prize is. And I've been do- and I've been, uh, working for this prize for about, let's see here, um, f almost two months. My cat is currently walking across my desk, so if you hear weird things with the microphone, that's her. Every time I talk and she's in the room, then, um, whoop, she always jumps up to come say hi, apparently. So I'm just gonna pet her right now. <laughs> welcome, welcome, come on in. Alright, now, let's go ahead and buy this piece of fertilizer, and you'll see just what I'm talking about. Alright, real quick. Oh, that's right! Hold up, Dex. Your purchase today comes with a happy bonus. It's a golden shovel. If you use it when burying fertilizer, it makes the extra potent. It makes it extra potent. Well worth the effort. Now, Dex, I know you picked up more than your share of fertilizer from me, so I hope you'll use that shovel to help make the flowers and trees around town as happy as can be. Yes! This, this is... I got a golden shovel. That makes me really special. My cat is sniffing me right now. Oh my gosh. Cat, stop, stop. <laughs> She's up in my face. Thank you for visiting. Come again. At some point, I'm probably going to have to videotape that because it's hilarious. She just meowed at me. And she's, um, jumped up behind my chair. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Welp. Now we got the special little shovel. Very nice. I've been waiting to get that for a long time. And what better way to celebrate that than by planting a money tree? Well, hopefully it grows anyway. I don't know if it will. But, um, what I mean by that is... Let's just put this right here. And we're gonna take out a loan. I don't have much space in my pockets. It's all fertilizer right now. Um, we're gonna take out, a, just, I guess, all my pocket money and bury it. And it actually becomes a sapling, so hopefully it actually grows into a money tree. We'll have to see if it does next video. My cat is in front of my microphone. I'm sorry if you can't hear me that well. Now, cat. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um, let's throw some stuff away, and then we also have something else going on today. Um, it's Explorer's Day. Basically, to celebrate <sighs> Columbus Day. <laughs> um, so yeah. My cat's meowing again. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I think this is the latest I've ever made a video, too. Very interesting. Alright, so if we just walk down here... You see that there's a whole setup with, uh, Cap- Is that Cap'n? I think it is Cap'n. So let's- Oh, I guess I can't do it with the shovel out. It's a little hard to see me when, um, in that cutout, so... <laughs> pretty funny. But anyway, um, now that we have some free space, let's talk to Isabel. Hello, Mayor! Today is Explorer's Day here in town. That's why I prepared a little something special to get everyone in the Explorer's Day spirit. Always good to get the items. It's a sailboat model. With it, you can really get into the excitement of Explorer's Day. Mmm. We'll have to go into my home later and check that out. I really hope I don't forget, otherwise it's gonna be really, really annoying. Anyways, we should probably check on some of the villagers. I haven't been talking to them that much. Gail, what's up? Oh, good! I wanted to talk to you. I've developed a recent interest in barbell steed ecology. It would be fascinating to have one at home for research purposes. Could you catch one for me? Okay. Thank you! I'm looking forward to it in the dress. Alright, well, I guess we're going fishing now. Hopefully this uh, silver rod turns into a golden rod by the time uh, December comes. And my cat just jumped up onto my- <laughs> Ugh, cat, stop, I gotta focus. She's on my arm. Uh, uh, let, let's see if I can catch this. Whoop. Nope, not there. There we go.
Nope, that's not quite what we're looking for. I caught a yellow perch. I wonder if birds usually stand on it. <laughs> Get it? Because perch... Perch means... Perch is what birds stand on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice joke. Great joke. Alright, that's not the right size. Let's just keep looking around until we find the right size. And hopefully... We actually run into a barbell steed. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a 45 minute long video where I yet again end up unlucky enough to just not find what I'm looking for. Maybe best, maybe in our best interest to do a little save and continuing. Is this the right size? I think it might be. There we go. Here we go. I got a barbell steed. It just needs a barbell saddle. All right. That's all we need to really give to Gil right now. So I am really glad that didn't take 45 minutes to do. So all we really got to do now is find Gil and give this to her. Up oh, here she is. Wow. It's already eight time flies when you're having fun in a dress. It's true. So what's on your mind? I brought something. All right. Here's that fish you asked for. Mira is walking into you. Oh, thank you! Look at how healthy and energetic it is! Please accept this token of my appreciation. Let me guess, it's a shirt. As I figured. It's a dazed shirt. Yeah, because I'm dazed. Thanks again for your help. It means a lot to me. Yep. Alright, now let's talk to Mira since she wants to walk into people. Whoa, hotshot! Looking fresh! I don't think I've seen your face in- Oh, yeah. Anyway. I've seen you a lot today. Alright. Oh, right, right. You designed what I'm wearing, didn't you? It's pretty good. It gets more flavorful the more it hangs around. Kind of like Stu. Oh, yeah. The rock star is wearing the corn shirt. <laughs> I actually have a corn yeah. jacket. How do you do? How you feeling? Well, nighttime is nice for recharging your batteries, so take it nice and easy and slow, all right? So, what's up? Want to chat? I come by here every so often when I'm out for a stroll. I'll just let my mind wander as I sit on the bench. Sometimes I think of some pretty interesting things. I gotta admit, more times than not, I just take a good long nap on the bench out here. Yep, as you should. Whoop. Hopefully... <laughs> the last thing I want to do is, um... Really trample a lot of my flowers. Here's Astrid. It's the guy! It's been pleasant today, hasn't it? What would you like to talk about? Well, I want to chat. Hun, have you ever heard of Feng Shui? It's the ancient art of interior decorating. Okay, that's a simple way to put it, but basically it helps you arrange your home in an optimal way. For example, yellow objects should be placed in the west side of your home. Green items belong the southern part of your home. There are some advantages to doing it this way. If you need any more advice, I would be happy to stop by for a free consultation. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard that does good things to your HHA score, but as you know, I'm not big on home decoration. <laughs> I think this is um, this has been very well established in the series that I will always procrastinate, always, always, always procrastinate on um, <laughs> decorating my house in any way possible. All right, now I did see someone else out here. I think it was Cookie. I want to see if she needs help with anything because you know that's just how I am. Maybe it's just for filler time in this episode. I don't know, but we got basically the most important things out of the way. So, real quick, we're gonna find her, say hi, and after that, maybe we're gonna go ahead and check out that item we just got from Isabel. She's planning something. Oh, nice, it gets a little pattern there. You're looking so you today, kiddo. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk. I feel like I can really be myself around Mira, plus she's a really good listener. That's important to me and a friend, because I like to talk about myself a lot. OMG. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, hopefully that tree grows, because that's 53,000 pelts. <laughs> It'd suck if it didn't. If it does, we can get nine... Well, see, the thing about those trees is that they always look really nice, so the best... So, part of me wouldn't want to shake it. I heard there's like a percent chance with it, like if you plant a thousand bells, it only has like a one percent chance of growing to a full tree, but if you plant 90... Like, a tree... With 99,000 bells, it'll, it has a 99% chance or a 100% chance. Anyway, looks very clean and organized. Well, I guess it is then. I was hoping to find an item in there or something. Oh! Well, hello, kiddo! What a nice surprise! So, what can I do for you? What's the latest? I want to add a little something to my room, and I think a small piece of furniture could do the trick. Not something to put on the table or wall, but instead something small that goes on the floor. If you find the perfect item, would you please bring it to me? Jeez, that is a very, very specific request. Um... 
Let's try the shirt and see if she likes it. I mean, I don't need it, so... Oh, I guess... I guess I can't then. Um... I'm not gonna give you my sailboat model. I think this is a tabletop item, so it won't work, but it's worth a shot. Check it, check it out. This is great! I've been wanting to find a yellow perch. I just read this book about raising fish, so I'm excited at the chance to put my knowledge into practice. Oh, I should display this right away! <laughs> I get the feeling that Miss Yellow Perch and I will be very happy together. Let me repay you for bringing this to me. And I get a nice piece of furniture in exchange. Here's my hourglass. Thank you so much for helping me. Oh, man. All right. I'm just going to turn your TV on and then I'm going to leave because that's just how I am. <laughs> All right. Well, that does it for that. Glad to help out the residents. Um, oh, Avery's in his house, too. Maybe he needs help with something. Because usually there's only, like, one villager in their house this late at night. Jeez, he has all the rare fish. Like, these are all rare fish. Like, the arowana, the shark, and then, uh, this, what is it over here? Saw shark, and then blue marlin. He has all the rare fish. I wonder who gave those to him. Hmm, who knows. Alright, let's say hi. What's up, mate? That's all I had to say, you feel me? <laughs> you, so, you wanted to talk to me. Let's chat. I find when I stare at fish, I start to feel oddly relaxed. Maybe it's because fish aren't big talkers. You feel me? I guess so. I'm gonna mess with this, and then I'm gonna leave. There goes your printer ink. I hope you're happy. Oh my goodness. I am... in quite a bit of a mood today. Um... Yeah, but of course, as promised, we gotta put this in our home and see how it looks. Something I didn't mention was how long it took for me to find the bagworm the other day. Because, um, the bagworm is another new bug that appears in, um, that starts appearing in October. So, um, if I scroll over here a little bit, it's right here. And usually it's really uncommon, but, um, or it's quite uncommon, but it was, like, practically so rare I couldn't even find it within a I It took me, like, three hours to find it. I spent three hours searching and I couldn't find it, so it was like, oh my god. Yeah, um... Ugh. Okay, well, that's the sailboat model. Um, very nice looking, very tiny. Yep. That's, um, that's, uh, def definitely a sailboat. I really have nothing else to say. Anyway, <laughs> yep, that was a very awkward silence. Anyway, out you go into this, um... Out now, out you go into this um, storage space where you will be for all of eternity, or there might be that 2% chance that I might use you for something else, but it might be quite unlikely. Who knows? Let's go up to Main Street and see if there are any new masks. I think the only mask, or whatever it is I'm missing, is the skeleton one, so it's better to check and see. And just leave it be. That is not the skeleton mask. But, um, anything else I want here? Eh, not necessarily. Besides, I don't think I would have had enough money anyway, now that I think about it. If there was a skeleton hood or not, I wouldn't have had enough money to buy it, because it's 1,031 bells, and I very clearly only had 727 there. Man, there's a lot of stuff that's closed right now. What if we actually go in here? We don't really check this out that often, do we? Oh my goodness. No one's here, though. He's just kind of... He's just kind of DJing for no one. <laughs> Other than Shrunk himself, who's just, you know, the employee. So, feel like dancing? I hope you really just let your hair down and have a great time. Yeah? One-trick pony? Yeah, you really are a one-trick pony. I want you to get out there, show me your moves, and become king of the dance floor. Hop to it. Hey, you know how to dance, right? Just press any direction you want on the... the... the that... that thing. <laughs> that album cover is really nice looking. <laughs> Wish I could art like that. I wonder how those people who make those pixel arts always do it. It's like, oh my goodness. 
Like, at one point, I saw this, like, really nice pixel art of just, like, these, uh, this, like, mountain view kind of thing. But it was all pixel art, and it was, like, pixel by pixel, and I'm like, how do you do that? Like, do you have to, like, draw it out beforehand, like, normally, but- and then after that, you just kind of... Just, like, make it less opaque, and then, uh... Draw the pixels over it? Here comes the best part of this, by the way. There I am. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was very nice. Hopefully more people go there, otherwise it's gonna become pretty bankrupt, and I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, um... That's really all I have to do today, guys. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you would like. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!